The great thing about modern electric bikes is that they are good enough to fulfill the purpose of transport, but with a fraction of the cost, maintenance, and skill needed for a car. Plus, there's no short supply of innovation in the marketplace. In this video, you'll get a good look at the Ristretto 303 FS, a self-proclaimed most powerful electric bike on the market. Later on, we'll give you a peek at the all-wheel drive Defender S and the Pro version. If you stick around until the end, you'll get to see more of this new era e-bike called the Model 1, which Tom's Guide describes as the Tesla of bikes. I'm Glenn, and let's get to it. We're going to start the whole thing off with Ristretto. This company is working in conjunction with DaVinci Designs and CYC Motor to devise a powerful e-bike. Ristretto brings us the Ristretto 303 Founders Edition, which has a rugged design with some smattering of streamline and 26-inch tires thrown in for good measure. Some reviewers have said the seat is perhaps less than ideal, but the full suspension may make up for it a bit. It also doesn't hurt that the Ristretto does not lack in the power department. Now, while the self-proclaimed most powerful electric bike doesn't quite live up to the hype, it is pretty powerful on paper. So what are we looking at? Well, the mid-drive motor churns out a peak performance of 3,500 watts, which helps when the bike weighs 84 pounds. We're talking a Class 3 drive mode with a max speed of 28 miles per hour, or an unlocked mode with a max speed of 40 miles per hour. Yeah, that's right, 40 miles per hour. Now, you should be wary of that top speed as it might be illegal in some parts of the world. Aside from that, I would definitely encourage you to wear a helmet and take all the usual cautions. This is a crowdfunded situation, so that should be taken into account. With that being said, you can expect to pick up a Ristretto for about $3,900 after release. We'll pivot into our next two electric duo-wheeled personal transport from Zugo Bike. This one comes from a suggestion from our comments. Thank you, Kim Hogan. In the spotlight of number four is the Rhino Electric Fat Bike and the Rhino Step Through Fat Bike. These are, on paper, the same bike with the one noticeable difference being the chassis design. The only other difference is that the step-through caters to a slightly smaller rider without sacrificing the 6-foot 5-inch upper limits or the 325-pound carrying capacity. The Rhino is sold as a Class 2 legal electric bike, meaning the 750-watt motor puts out speeds of about 20 miles per hour. For the daring, you can unlock the Class 3 mode, however, pushing you up to the 28-mile-per-hour mark with pedal assistance. The fat tire design is one I enjoy, not just aesthetically, but it gives a bit more grip in off-road scenarios. I think perhaps the most impressive thing with the Rhino is the 90-mile range that Zugo Bike claim. Of course, you would need to use Class 1 or 2 modes with some pedal assistance to achieve this, and in perfect conditions, no doubt. Let us know in the comments if the fat tire design is up your alley. We'd love to hear your thoughts.
3. Next up is a company that plans to have a dealership network of over 200 dealers across the U.S. Unero is a company that has more than 11 years of experience in the industry, and they seem intent on making some pretty great bikes, if the reviews are anything to go by. And the reviews are no less praising of the Defender S Pro. This is a relatively traditionally designed bike chassis but with twin motors, batteries, and suspension. You heard that correctly. The Defender S Pro is equipped with not one, but two 750-watt motors, specially made by Baofeng. Together, they have a peak output of 2,200 watts. With all that power, it may not be too hard to believe the claims the reviews make about the Defender S Pro that it is one of the best all-terrain electric bikes. And well, that's what Unero planned with it. The Defender S Pro was built to tackle any terrain, any conditions, and any sport, even hunting, as the Defender S Pro has enough power and torque to carry or pull your game. As it stands, this electric bike is looking pretty good when compared to bikes of similar power and the price differences. The Defender S Pro is available for only $2,000. Suppose you don't need all that power and are only interested in a transport machine. In that case, you can pick up the single-motor non-pro version, the Defender S. It uses less electricity and is $200 cheaper. Now we're going to mix things up a tad with a company I'm sure you probably have heard of. Porsche is no stranger to most, and their goals of creating the most sustainable and most efficient sports cars haven't wavered. However, Porsche is more than cars nowadays, with their toes dipped into the e-bike scene. This shouldn't be too large a surprise every day more and more companies adopt at least some sort of EV into their lineups. And with two different e-bikes in their repertoire, Porsche is no different. Say hello to the Sport and the Cross models. They are both simply pretty bikes with similar designs but with different goals. The Cross, just like the Sport, has a chassis that reinvents the standard with lower handlebars for better road visibility. However, the Cross was made to tackle any terrain, while the Sport was created with pavement in mind. Interestingly, the Sport actually has a larger battery capacity at 630 watt-hours as opposed to the Cross's 504. And with that, a higher range at nearly 80 miles a charge when on Eco mode. For perspective, the Cross has a range of 62 miles, which is not awful by any means. Both bikes offer adequate headlights for low light conditions and proper hydraulic disc brakes for a sure stop. You can expect to charge either the Sport or Cross up to 80% in about two and a half hours, or around five for a full charge. Of course, you could just leave it overnight to charge and forget about it. If you are interested in the Sport, you're looking at about $10,700, which is a bit steep for a bike even with this quality. The Cross is a bit more forgiving at a price tag of
one. Closing in on our number one, we nearly come to the end of the video. Of course, we still have one more e-bike to wow you. So let's not dally any longer. Civilized Cycles is a global team comprised of various talents in the industry. They say their mission is to make the most civilized bikes globally for the world. Through a lengthy design process that took many people worldwide to help build, Model 1 was created. The Model 1 is a deep step-through design that almost seems to be wearing a skirt of some sort. With the larger rear of the e-bike comes a second seat for a passenger. That skirt happens to be an integrated set of panniers for storing groceries, equipment, or anything else you may need for up to 50 pounds of storage. And whether the road you ride is made of dirt, littered with potholes, or any other less than ideal terrain, the Model 1 has you covered. This practical EV has automatic full suspension that will adjust to any hiccup on the road. The 750 watt motor is powered by a 10.5 amp hour battery. If you pick up the optional secondary battery, the Model 1 has a more than apt range of 50 miles. Like most e-bikes, the speed will top out at 28 miles per hour, which is the average legal limit. If you want your own Model 1 from Civilized Cycles, they are selling for $4,500. Let us know in the comments which of these electric bikes strikes your fancy the most. Porsche is probably the most likely to impress. Still, personally, I like the look of the Defender S Pro from Unero. Until next time, have a good day.